Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. I made a recipe the other day and I would consider it somewhat of a failure. And that recipe was to do with sweet potato souffle that I put pineapple in and I doubled the recipe and I cut some of the sugar out, you know, just to try and see if that wouldn't work because I'm thinking the pineapple is real sweet. Well, it didn't work. It was definitely not sweet enough. And so we're going to make a sauce to go on that. Now, I froze this. I've got two of these. I froze the uh, sweet potato souffle. I'd made it in a great big pan, and I cut it in squares and froze it because sweet potato anything freezes really well. So we're going to make a sauce to go on it, a really sweet sauce, and maybe that'll help. All right, so... I've got four tablespoons of butter that are already melted and I've got my burner on medium and we're going to uh, put in one half cup of uh, white sugar and one half cup of dark brown sugar and I'm just going to dump that in and break that sugar up and we're going to use one half cup of water and to that I'm going to dump in two beaten egg yolks and this is going to be our thickener. So I'm just going to add that to the water. Let's see if I can get all that out of there. Yeah, the egg yolk will uh, be what thickens the sauce. So what we're going to do, beat those egg yolks into the water now, just beating them in. And I'm just going to dump those in and just stir it. And you're really going to have to stir it the whole time. And what we want to do is just bring it to a boil and let it boil maybe a minute or less to thicken it up and then we'll be ready. Now I've already heated up the uh, sweet potato souffle. I first thawed it out in the microwave. It really took about 20 minutes because it's pretty thick. And then just warmed it up a little bit so it's still warm. And as soon as this sauce gets ready, we're going to pour it over the sweet potato souffle and that will make it sweet enough and then I'm going to save some of the sauce and go ahead and freeze the sauce for the other uh, sweet potato souffle that I've got in the freezer because I don't think it'll take much to sweeten it up. I want to get the rest of those egg yolk out of there and get it in there. Now I'm going to probably, in fact I'm going to use my little small whisk in there just to make sure that that egg gets all incorporated. Try not to touch the bottom of my ceramic pot here. I don't think this would hurt it because it's all rounded. Anyway, so we're going to let this come to a boil and after it does, we'll be back. Alright, this sauce has come to a boil and we're going to let it boil for about a minute. It's probably already been boiling about 15 seconds. And I'm just lightly whisking it. Just make sure those eggs don't curdle and whatever. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put in a little pinch of salt. I mean just a bare little pinch. All right, and I'm also going to put in a little vanilla extract. Just a few little drops. That's probably a fourth of a teaspoon. And it's been boiling a minute now, so we're going to take it off and let it cool just a little bit. And then we're going to put it over the sweet potato souffle. All right, we'll be back. 
All right, my sauce has cooled maybe about 10 minutes, and I'm going to spoon some over this sweet potato souffle. This is probably about two tablespoons. Just like that. All right, now, what am I going to do with the rest of this? I'm going to freeze it. I have buttered six of these little muffin tins here, and I'm going to freeze those. Now, I buttered them so that when I'm ready to take them out after they've frozen, I can just run hot water under the bottom of them or either just sit them down in the sink with some hot water and then just immediately take them and flip them out. So we're going to see how much we can get in here. That's a good two tablespoons, maybe more. Yeah, so we can put a little more in each one. Yeah, this solves the problem of the souffle not being sweet enough. got more than six of these sweet potato souffle squares frozen, but the ones that are left will just have to melt marshmallows on top of them. Anyway, so what I'll do is when they're frozen, I'll just go ahead and put them on top of the little sweet potato souffle squares and then just thaw the sweet potato and the sauce all out together. There's what it looks like. I know my camera is kind of dark. Y'all are always wanting me to taste of everything. I don't know why. For some reason you do. Anyway, I'm going to taste of this with the sauce. And let's see if it's sweet enough now. It's definitely sweet enough now. It's delicious, that sauce. Mm. So anyway, we will see y'all next time. Mr. Bucky and I are going to go watch some TV. All right, bye for now.